Greetings, friends and fellow comic heads. It is I, Comic Head 84, coming at you after a brief hiatus from my top 10 picks for upcoming new comic book days. In this edition, I'm going to run you through my personal 10 picks for new comic day Wednesday, April 24th. So without further ado, let's do it. Boom. So, coming at number 10. 10 is usually the spot that I reserve for my more oddball picks. Is a tie. A first ever tie spot on the list. At number 10, I couldn't choose between either Dick Tracy number 1. There is, I've always been a big fan of Dick Tracy uh, as just a, a comic strip character in the old Warren Beatty movie, right? Uh, because, those, how about those, vil side note, the villains, Dick Tracy's villains, especially in that movie and in general, awesome. Uh, so, Dick Tracy number one, I thought this cover was really cool. I like the look of it and it made, I'm, I'm going to consider picking this one up in the other number 10 spot book Zodiac number 3 uh, I really like these Xeno some of these Xenoscope covers and I like when they do kind of like these scary looking hot chick covers uh, I dig them so Zodiac number 3 is also taking up the spot at number 10 along with Dick Tracy 1 coming in at number 9 you'll notice this book has dropped way down in my list Heroes in Crisis. This book has generally appeared higher in the list, uh, you know, in recent weeks. And man, it's last issue was just a little bit of a bummer. I feel like one thing about this series and Tom King in general is it ebbs and flows, man. It ebbs and flows. There's some issues that I really like, and there's some that I don't. Uh, hopefully, now that I think we're nearing the conclusion of it, we'll get some resolution and hopefully it ends off on a strong note but it's definitely I can't resist it it's definitely gonna be something that I'm gonna make a point to read and probably pick up <coughs> excuse me number eight number eight I am NOT a fan of or make a point to pick up second prints third prints generally but Conan the Barbarian number four was my favorite issue thus far in this series was Conan number four and one of my favorite highlights of that issue was this panel that they use for the cover image of the second print. Now, again, this is breaking a lot of my rules. I'm actually going to elaborate on this a little later down the list. But, damn, if, put it this way. If you haven't picked up Conan number four the first time around, pick up the second print. You're going to get that sick cover along with it. And it's a great read. You will not regret picking up Conan Number four, it's so nice, I might pick it up twice. <laughs> number seven, number seven on the list is another book I've been really enjoying, Marvel Presents. Marvel Presents number four, and this is a book that's been going through like different decades. I think this one might be in the 70s, 1970s. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. Moon Knight is going to be... Uh, having his own story. There's always three characters that have their own story in this series. This one appears to be a Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Moon Knight issue, which is cool. It's good to see Moon Knight get some shine. And there's the cover B on this thing is, whoa, hot stuff coming through. So I'm probably going to pick that one up. Keep an eye out for it. It's a good read. Good stuff. Marvel Presents, number four, at number seven on the list Hiya! number six making a return to this list uh, is Batgirl Batgirl Mr. Middleton uh, I don't dig all the covers that he puts out I think he gets a little overhyped in my humble opinion but I feel like he's a return to form here in this cover this is a cover by Batgirl number 34 I'm really digging it I like the classic kind of outfit. Good stuff. It made the list at number six. Ha. We're 
halfway through the list here, guys, and you know what that means. It's time for the pass list. So, this week on the pass list, War of the Realms, colon, Uncanny X-Men, number one. So, let the tie-ins begin, right? Uh, You know, I've been saying recently that I kind of have big event book fatigue, you know? And uh, that's, and one of the worst aspects, honestly, of big events are all the tie-ins. And I hate how they'll, you know, uh, always have to have like a banner of a big event over every other issue that's on the stands, you know? And a lot of times it ruins really cool looking covers. Like there'll be some clean looking covers and they'll be like, War of the Realms coming in two weeks banner on the top of my damn comic book cover. The cover of other issues that I'm paying money to buy is not the appropriate place to advertise your goddamn uh, event. You can use a page on the inside, and they do. Use that to market to me. Don't throw it on my cover. Anyway, side. That was a side note. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a X Men tie in book that's going along with War of the Realms. Not really feeling it. I'm kind of anti tie in at this point. So that's going to be a pass from old Comic Head. <laughs> Next up, to pick up on my point about uh, second and third printings, Immortal Hulk. This week, Immortal Hulk is going to drop like a second or third printing of. A bunch of different issues uh, like 10 through 13 or so maybe like five or six different issues are getting a second or third printing and they throw a little different cover on it and they throw it on the rack and they try to make it collectible by putting a different you know whatever cover on it a lot of times it's just recycled shit from the interior of the book granted my number eight pick, Conan, did exactly that. It's a second printing that used a panel from inside the comic on the cover. Fair enough. But, you know, I don't think they're really overdoing it. And I don't think that Conan book is an example of them really trying to exploit it. Immortal Hulk, I think, is. Um, you know, with like, I think there was, what was that, like a ratio variant of a second printing? No bueno, man. I'm not into that. There's a bunch of second and third printings coming out of Immortal Hulk. I mean, if you just need the issue and you weren't able to get it the first week, fair enough. But as far as, like, collecting all these other prints, man, it's not my thing. And I'm going to make a point to avoid that as a whole. All right, let's get back to the top five portion of the list. Stuff that I think uh, you should keep an eye out for. I am. Number five, The Goon. Number two, not only the goon number two, but goon number two has an Alex Ross cover, which really kind of took me back and surprised me. I don't think Alex Ross has ever like done a cover art job for the goon before. It looks tremendous. It looks cool. Um, I hadn't read much goon before. I recently did for the book club with John and Alec at White Whale, and I was glad that I got put onto that title. It's a good read, so it's worth just picking up for that fact alone. Interior art is excellent, but man, this uh, this Alex Ross cover puts it even more ahead of ahead of the list. I don't know, ahead of the game. I don't know what like metaphor I was gonna go for there, but I think you should pick it up. Goon number two, hiya! I'm trying to record this in a rush. I hope you can't notice. Uh, number four, Doctor Strange, number 13. I'm not a Doctor Strange reader. I barely have ever read a Doctor Strange book ever. And as of the last issue or two, Galactus has crossed paths with Doctor Strange. And there's a new story arc going on called The Herald Supreme. And that hasn't happened yet, but, dude, I think Doctor Strange is going to be the next Herald of Galactus. What? It's really well written. It's a cool story. It's interesting. And the last issue, uh, number 12, 
really was just setting the stage for them to to cross paths and you know see what happens but I think this issue is going to be the payoff to really see them mix it up and see what's going to happen so all over it the cover's tremendous I'm a big Galactus guy so I might be partial but Doctor Strange number 13 I recommend you check it out hiya number three Detective Comics number 1002 my boy Batman has came through issue number 1000 he's he's crashing in issue 1000 with a bang because they're doing a good job Tomasi is killing it with this new Arkham Knight character I feel like they're doing a good job really interesting uh, the last issue was was very well done the uh, what is it the soldiers of the Sun Knights of the Sun something like that that the Arkham Knight that's his squad it's it's really cool I like it um, it's not easy to introduce a new villain but they, they're doing it well in this case and I'm invested and I'm curious to see how it plays out and who is this Arkham Knight guy and all the rest of it so Detective 1002 and it's a pretty sweet Mark Brooks variant I'm a huge Mark Brooks fan so he's on the cover B check it out on the 24th <laughs> number two I went with Thanos number one. There's like a mini series going on with Thanos. There's a couple cool covers. This Zafino cover is, whoa. I think it might be, who knows with Marvel, like it might be like a one in 25, 50, 100, whatever. Cause I saw like five different covers. So that means this one is bound to be like a high ratio thing, which is a little annoying, but this is not just a cover by alone. That cover is definitely the one to get, but I'm curious to read it. Thanos is the man. I wouldn't mind getting into a Thanos story, you know, in advance of Avengers Endgame. Seems like it's going to, from the synopsis I read, they're going to go, because he's dead right now in continuity with Guardians of the Galaxy and all that, but this is going to rewind to his relationship with young Gamora and I think the beginning of their relationship kind of thing. So, I'm interested. I'm going to check it out. Maybe you should too. Which brings me to my number one pick. For me, personally, Fantastic Four number nine. Wait, I think I got that number wrong. Fantastic Four number something. I think it's nine. Uh, this is one of the best titles coming out of Marvel right now. I think it, I think it is the best um, title coming out of Marvel right now. Sorry, Venom fans, but this is the book that's doing it for me. Really cool story going on. Doctor Doom, Galactus, the Fantastic Four, the whole nine. I think the Hulk is getting into the mix. Um, all that shit's going on in this great Fantastic Four run. And one of the best covers from this issue is Bill Sienkiewicz variant. Who, man, I have not been into them. If you watched my last edition, I was clowning on his Invisible Woman cover. Um... That super loosey goosey, sketchy style, um, you know, which generally doesn't do it for me in a lot of cases. Boy, does that style work well when you're drawing someone like the Human Torch, which that's all he is when he's in flame mode, is a, you know, ethereal lines and stuff like that. And dude, he nails this Human Torch cover. A work of art, incredible. Like, dude, this thing is amazing. So be on the lookout for that. And the coolest cover of the batch is the Hidden Gem, Joe Quesada, Hidden Gem variant of Galactus. Whoa, just Galact big old badass Galactus in a white background. Really good stuff. This is a one in hundred variant. So Mucho Dinero, I'm gonna kinda fall back and see probably if I can find it at a lower ratio price a little bit after it drops you know, that's the thing with some of these ratios is some some will skyrocket and you're lucky if you can get it at the ratio price right when it drops at a hundred bucks or whatever but a lot of them they drop and they're you know demanding a hundred bucks eighty bucks you know close to the ratio number and then they drop you know a month later you can find it for half the price so that's probably what I'm going to do here. Uh, I really love it, but not enough that I'm going to make a point to run out and snatch it up at variant cost. I'll keep my eye out. 
if you guys find a cheap copy of this thing, cheaper copy, uh, let your boy know. I'm interested. So that's my number one pick. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try to stay a little more consistent with these because uh, I enjoy making them. I think you guys enjoy watching them. And, you know, stay tuned until next time. And as always, do you agree with the picks? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I have bad taste? Do I suck at this? Let me know. Sound off in the comments. <laughs> Thanks. Peace.